As a youth, I was treated much the same as the other boys. Not as a true son, but nearly so. Like a beloved cousin, Constantin treated me almost like a toy, a boy of his own when we were very young. And Aid, well, Aid and I were close enough in age that he bullied me. Oftentimes, Constantine would come to my aid when such things would happen. I'm not sure if it was just to protect me or if it was an excuse to get in a fight with his brother. One where he would always come out on top. Sometimes I miss those days. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends, and all newcomers. My name is Huntiner and we are playing our lovely Count of Strathern and Lilith Glusher campaign here. So we look to the north. He's about to send his guys out raiding. We have enough people that if we can take advantage of the fact his troops are out raiding, we can just snatch that right up. And we are not a man who likes to wait. Waiting is not exactly our thing. We could wait out the the completion of our warband, but uh, I don't think so. We'll we'll see where he goes. Like when he when he goes away, if he actually goes to sea, which is what it looks like he's going to do, which could, means he could be going quite far. We'll give him a bit of an opportunity to like zip away so that he he can't come back instantaneously. And then once he's gone a little bit, then we will declare our war for the county of Orkney. All right, let's go. Our first war. We're going to raise all here, and we're going to just send them right in. Uh, no. Why would we go by land when it will be faster by sea? I, maybe they don't think we can afford to go by sea? There we go. We have uh, rough terrain expert, by the way. That is our, our military trait. It's well suited to this region. Now, I probably should have waited a little longer before doing- Oh, my wife's pregnant. I probably should have waited a little longer before I did this because, uh, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't really give him enough chance to get far away, but that's fine. He's racing back, but I think we're going to hit him while we both have the penalty, which would be amazing. If we can hit him while he has the penalty too, because that will help us to to win this battle if we hit him while he still has the penalty. That's good. I think we're gonna win this. Yeah, we got this. And once his troops are, are, are destroyed, it's pretty much a done deal. It's a single county war, so we just have to finish the siege, which will be a bit of time, you know, but it's fine. Ooh, who is this? Who are you? Are you? Now he won't ransom you. You know, if you convert, we will take you into our warband. Is that a deal? You think that's a good deal? Because I think that's a good deal. If you won't convert, which you will, I would have to execute you. So we will convert him and put him in our warband. We're not barbarians. We give a man a chance to redeem himself of his poor decisions and to come to Christ before we execute them. And if they don't, we have no qualms against executing them. We are no longer, we are no longer romancing our wife, so we should solve this problem with our bishop. I think he's uncomfortable with us because we're a bastard. I think that's probably the best reason, like, like he knows that, that the king's decision, that the king's father's decision was right, but it still makes him uncomfortable, you know? It's a cultural thing, and we're just going to have to convince him we're going to be a good leader. I love this helmet, by the way. <laughs> kind of looks makes me look like a devil. Not a devil, but you know, like a real ancient warrior. Fits well with the mustache, too. We have the mustache because our dad had the mustache, by the way. That's why we have it. <laughs> I really liked the mustache on him, and it was his dad's mustache, so... It's in the jeans, right? It's in the jeans. Okay, so I don't know that we're just going to dash out here and do these. We have to take two of them if we want to make the duchy title, which I think would be a, very, a great use to us, and it would help to legitimize our claim here and make it so that in the future... Oh, we have a son and heir. I do not know about that name. <laughs> Don Mono. 
Don Mono? I like Don Mono. Fergus, though? I think Fergus. His name is gonna be Fergus for sure. Fergus. Fergus MacGormla. Interesting. His mother's name. Because my name is corrupted because of my, uh, because of my being a created character. My name didn't pass, but that's fine. We'll just decide that it was a, uh, a, a requirement. No, it's fine. He just takes his mother's name. We captured someone in the siege. It is a child. He won't pay money for him. We don't even know who he belongs to. This is a child with no parent. And a bastard. So we feel sympathy for this poor bastard. So why don't we convert the child and recruit him? And we will educate this child as a good Christian. We will also take the territory and force our demands here. Done. Victory. Good. And let's see. Now that we have a son of our own, we need a wet nurse. Nobody's any good. A wet nurse is something that we could probably marry in, though, with a male courtier. So let's go adult. Uh... So the things that wet nurses need to have is they need to have children and they need to be healthy. So we're going to look for courtiers. Hmm. We're looking for courtiers. Can we sort, sort by health? No. That would be too easy. Okay. So. Oh, we can here, though. Healthy. And. Female. She's a guest. She's not that healthy, though. Also a courtier. Just fine. They also have to be lowborn. That's his antiquarian. We can't steal her. She has a position. So let's look at the king's court. We're looking for healthy women. This is a guest. It's a little old for what we're looking for. It's a courtier. Maybe her if no one else. Though fine feels like it would just be like... Literally just, it would be fine. Guest. There really are no healthy... Young ladies around here. Married. Married. Spy master. Physician. Alright. Well, we do need a wet nurse. I don't want to put a poor one in. I suppose we can go down to other minor rulers near us, see if they have anything. Guest. She's healthy. She's a little older. I mean, six years? Is six years enough? I mean, wet nurses are really for children, and may, may be able to find someone better in six years. Let's see if we can marry her. I don't marry her to an older man, someone near her age, because she probably won't give them children. We can give her... We give her... We could marry her to this champion here. If she'll do it, which she will. Let's see if she's okay. She's very healthy, which makes it likely that she'll be at least average. And if not, we'll just have to put somebody in who's not that good at it. Sadly. Can't always get the... Per oh, she's good. <laughs> well, all right. I mean, she's an atheist, but we don't necessarily know that. She probably spent her whole life pretending to be a good Catholic, because that's what you gotta do in this world. So we now have a wet nurse. She should probably be a good wet nurse for, like, six, maybe seven years at most. Then she'll become infertile and she won't be able to do the job anymore. But that is the entire, like, infancy of our child, right? So that's good. And this boy that we just brought into the court... Where is he? Mm, this this guy. He is a Cumbrian Catholic. His name is Cain. Which is freaking hilarious. He's an excellent commander, but he is not a very good warrior. Should we keep him around, or we should just tell him to leave? Let's recruit him. You know, we might find a use for him at some, at some point. Let's also disband our army and look what we've got here. He has got a small harbor, which would be good for income. And then we can build maybe another war camp here. Maybe another gathering hall. Yeah. Okay, so you have 593 troops. 
You have more, less men at arms than me. And you have 616 troops. And you have less men at arms than me. Hmm. Since impatience and zealotry are our main traits, we need to think about this. We don't have the money to buy the duchy title right away. But these might fall into bad hands if we don't do something about them quick. If we were to make a duchy and grant territory, I think... I feel like Osric is our most accomplished person right now. I don't think he can be... I don't know if he can be my personal champion if we elevate him, though. But we'll think about it. For now, we're going to have to take a bit of a break off of that. Simply because we will not be able to maintain another spot. Okay, so this kid here... We want to give him a tutor right away, not ourselves. We don't need to know what his trade is before we give him a tutor. We're going to actually just put him in the hands of our court tutor. I mean, our wife could do it too. But we'll put him into the hands of our court tutor. We'll have his culture committed, converted, of course. He is Gaelic, right? No, oh, he's Anglo-Saxon. Uh, maybe it should... No, my wife is Irish. Let me see here. Franconian, Anglo section. Our wet nurse could do it and convert his culture. I mean, converting his culture is more important to me than that he gets a good education, is the thing. Right? Like, we're doing charity for this child. He doesn't need a perfect educator. And she'll do fine. She's, his, she's the wet nurse anyway. Very likely that he will effectively be raised alongside my own son because of the wet nurse thing, which I don't think is a problem. I don't think my character would see that as a problem at all. Ooh, we can raise a runestone. So, this is for our taking of the area. I think it's a good expenditure of 50 gold. And we do it. <sighs> While we are forgiving, he's Norse. And it does stress us because we do sometimes see the irony in the fact that we treat the Norse different than we treat Christians. We will still take this stress. And we will put it, of course, in Orkney. Well, we can put it in Strathern, where we can actually see it. Where it will be with us every day. Conquest Runestone. Uh, I think Orkney's better, because... As a reminder that it, this that this belongs to us now, and it gives us that help with the control there. In fact, that could be enough control that we don't have to bother to put our guy there? Uh, it's gonna take too long if we don't, so we're gonna, we're gonna put our man here. Now the control will go up at two per month, which is good. We could also consider getting a Seneschal, but that's starting to have a lot of... Are we going to conquer enough early on to need a Seneschal? Thing is, we also might get raided. And Seneschals are good for recovering ra from raids. Do we have a good one? Our new wet nurse is a average one. So is this champion... At this point, I think I'd be more inclined towards what's his culture. He's Gaelic. It's her culture. Anglo-Saxon. Anglo-Saxon. Cumbrian. I'm going to put the Gale in. I think he'll do okay. Just for that little bit of extra push. It'll also help recover from raids, which is something that I think is important to think about. Having another guy around to help, you know, put these into, into control will definitely mean that we'll recover from raids faster, and that is a thing we have to take in consideration. I wish there was some way we could get our, uh... There was some way that we could get our diplomacy up. I think we are going to have to... switch her to manage domain. I know it means that we're not doing as good for our... our king... as we'd like, but, uh... That being said... I wonder if assist ruler... No, assist ruler isn't enough, so we would have to get her to... Because we're so bad. <laughs> we, we're gonna have to get her to basically do it for us. I mean, he put us in his Chancellor, knowing what our skill set was, and we're just going to have to not be as good a Chancellor for him simply because we need to hold this territory when we take it, and I think we should just do it right away, because we want the ability to, um, we need the ability to make this a duchy once we have the, the funds for it. So I think we're just going to think this guy's slightly weaker. Shetland is closer. I should be able to defeat either of them. Maybe we just let this finish up, though. 
Uh, maybe we deviate here. Maybe we take chivalric dominance. Just go off track once. Just in order to get uh, the night effectiveness. That can help. What are our buildings looking like? Still unbuilt. Our zealotry gives us confidence and our impatience wants us to hurry. But, uh, I still don't know. I don't know. I feel like we could probably do this if our, uh, if our ally joins us. Champion practice. The clanging of mail and clashing of swords rings in my ears as my champions practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them. As soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee, the stable doors are opened. It's time to bring out the mounts. Today we are going to go field riding. Yes, we are. Of course we are. If you get aggressive attacker, that's actually pretty cool. I should cut the champions off diagonally. Which would be more useful to us in the long run? Well, there's only an 83% chance to get aggressive attacker. That's a pretty good chance, though. What is the fatal enemy casualties maximum battle roll in hills? What kind of territory is this? This is wetlands, of all things. Interesting. That wouldn't really help us. I think I'm going to take the perk. Now, this is how the rush of victory feels. All right. It's a pretty lucky outcome. Now, this can also help. Maybe we are going to have to go to Household Garden and head back over here. This, this change of tact, I think, is a good representation of my, uh, of my character's impatience. He had plans, but those plans are being, um, disrupted, we'll say, by the fact that he wants to to take these before they get allies, before they get stronger. At least one of them. He probably won't take them both. But like... He's the weaker of the two. Oh, it's actually a really hard decision. But we have to take a shot. This is, I think, what we would do. Even if we don't win, I think this is what we would do. So, let's do it. We're going to call our ally in. We're going to move our flag... ...to the north. To our new holding in Orkney. And we are going to... ...raise all here. Excellent. Okay, so he is heading to C. I sort of want him to commit before I move. Because I, if I leave myself in the ocean, he might not be able to track me properly. So I'm going to commit before I move, and then we're going to come into here, and hopefully he'll join me. I want to make sure he's coming. <laughs> right? I need him to come. We need to all be in on this, because if we're not, this is going to fail. But he is coming in on the opposite side. Okay, he is going in, so I will immediately go in with him. It looks like he's out raiding. But he's coming home. That might give us a bit of an advantage. Yes, 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 yes. We have got this. Good. Good. Taking one of these two is really important. I was kind of worried that wasn't going to work out. No beheadings. No instant deaths. I'm not going to take a... <laughs> Nobody wants the Kingdom of Italy. Alright. I'm engaging my dearest, Ben Mormer Gormla of Strathern, in our usual pillow talk, wrapping her lovely hair on my fingers. Do you love my hair so, my beloved? Perhaps you should carry it with you always, as you go about your duties. As Mormer. So then everyone will see that you and I are one. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I thought at first she was joking, but it quickly became apparent that she truly intends me to wear her hair as an accessory for all to see. I mean, it will make me loyal. Loyal is good. It makes me better at diplomacy, which helps my king out, and it will make my king like me better as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's wear it. 
Okay. You're now known as With the Tress. That kind of fits our, uh, our idea of ourselves as a uh, romantic. Like a romantic warrior of old. So once this siege is over, we will win this, and then we can start saving towards getting the duchy title. Sparring grounds constructed in Strathern. So that's good. That's good. It gives us one more knight and more knight effectiveness. I like that. We will not be able to take this until we can give it to somebody. That's for sure. Still a long way off in controlling this place. I suppose I should be converting it. I don't know why I didn't. I think I just let it slip my mind. The bishop's on my side now, which is good. In fact, my whole council, except for... Uh, Rupert here are now well aligned with me. I'm gonna let the bishop go through one more time and then we'll maybe switch to somebody else. How does my wife feel about me? Oh, perfect. How does my friend feel about me? Also perfect, probably because I'm loyal now. Which is nice. The loyal definitely helps. I'm voting for his candidate, that's a plus 15. Like I said, I knew that would be a good idea. Okay, and we've also broke the 10 mark without the assistance of our wife, which is nice. And we have a daughter! Caitlin? Let's do it. Caitlin seems fine. And we are about to finish our siege up here. Very good. There it is. I feel like we really are where we are with this for now. Like, I don't think we're going to be expanding again immediately. We have the maximum we can hold with our wife's permission. With our wife's permission. <laughs> we don't need our wife's permission. It's with her help. The control here is starting to get up. The control there will go up slowly because of the... Um... Oh, wait. Did my Seneschal die? No, he's doing his job. It just probably hasn't registered yet. We'll unpause. Just so we can see what's happening here. Yeah, 1.3. So we're getting this mostly from our, our Seneschal. And I'm okay with that. Ah, we're known for our dedication to our faith. That's great. We are now faithful. Good. Uh, maybe the Pope will eventually like us enough to lend us some money. Because we could sure use it, Mr. Pope. Like, uh, it, it would help us a lot. We would probably immediately use that money to create the duchy. And this will be taken after the duchy, and then I'll have to find somebody to elevate. Oh. But we now control the majority, so we get the duchy for sure. Hopefully they don't get any strong allies or join anybody before we can do something about that. I am sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beating on my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looking over my shoulder, I spot my Seneschal, Delane, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and advice. Just as I'm about to leave for another round, Delane's face lights up and he suggests we practice together. Challenge accepted. The upper hand. The sounds of swords clashing against axe echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their Mormare fighting his Seneschal. The crowd applaud as I lunge. And their admiration makes me bold. Instead of pulling back, I attempt a new te technique I've been practicing. The movements flow through me into my sword, as if we were one. The lane is defenseless before me. Let's end it here. Well thought. Well thought indeed. Yeah. Great. Great. It's good that our, uh, our reputation as being a warrior is spreading, because that's really important to us. You know? We have this noble idea of the champions of old and their great wars, and we've already perpetrated a few wars of our own, right? We have expanded our kingdom's- our king's territory. Ooh, a funeral. Ooh, a funeral. No, no. Not yet. <laughs> it's cool, but it's not time yet. Nobody's died. Okay, so we got enough to create a good little buffer with our, uh, with our bishop. So let's correct our steward's position. Our steward's opinion. 
get him up. Talk to him about our job, his job, and our expectations. Let him know that we're not, uh, well, you know. We're not an overly harsh man. What is this? Oh. Who is this? This is Atoll. Atoll is north of us, and I think we would feel almost obligated to go. Maybe the king might go, and if the king goes, we'd want to be there. So let's let's go and do this for sure. Um, just right up this way. We will absolutely join this hunt. But we are going to try to... Oh, it's falconry. There's no Slay the Beast. That's okay. Falconry is also a noble practice. Starting out on our fresh hunt. Very nice. So my wife is my regent currently. That makes a lot of sense. I should probably try to find an alliance with my daughter, but we'll let her get a little older first. She doesn't need to... She's still zero, right? I feel like six is a good time to look for for alliances as a rule. Unless we know we need the strength of arms. Which I don't think we do right now. Like, we, we are impatient, as I said, but we are taking a break. Mind you, now that we're up to 14... We could probably do this. And getting it done... Oh, uh, no, we can't, we can't do it while we can't afford it. We have to wait. Alright, soon. The party is called to assemble as dawn breaks over the camp in the highlands near Atoll. With any luck, we'll find a bevy of quails, and our hawks will have great sport. Let's get out there. So the king is here. I'm glad we came then. Oh, and his brother, too. Our relationship is slowly improving with him. I think he's starting to realize we're not a threat and that we are a good servant to his brother, which is good. I did expect it to go that way over time. It's time. Mormare, male moors, game masters, signal the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. From our vantage point, we can see several speckled quails strutting about the tall grass ahead. The beaters will soon be in position, ready to spoke the, spook the game to flight. The party halts as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their sport. It's time. Oh. I hope we get it. Ah, nicely done! Ah. The Mormor watches excitedly as his hawk identifies the target and takes wing from its watch, soaring high into the air. The quails are none the wiser as my hawk scans the ground from far above. It swoops like a bolt of lightning. The quarry scrambles for cover, but is already too late. Nicely done. What a good little situation, right? We gained the trait hunter. Maybe we should try to make a friend. Uh, next time, we'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, that was really good. We can always use the prestige. And we do need to go on these hunts. These social events are super important for, you know, strengthening our ties in the kingdom, making ourselves ready for any coming wars, because it is super, super essential that we're able to resist the Norse if they ever decide to make a move. Ivar is much weaker than he was before, and he's starting to be closer to me in power, which is nice, because that's a necessary step in our true ultimate goal which is uh, taking back my father's lands. I think at that point, I might be stronger than the king himself, but still. Our goal is not to become king. Our goal is to make our king stronger. Feyrear up here is where we're hopefully going to... Uh, quickly gain some control. It's going to be a while, though. Go into here. Is there anything we can do specific? We don't need to convert to culture. We're definitely not doing that. Can't raise a rune stone because it is on cooldown. We already raised one for our first battle. Do we want to do this right away, or do we want to wait? Do we really need the gold first? The Pope may come through for us, though. 
They changed the spot, so I got confused. It is a brand new Pope. So our hopes the Pope would come through for us are probably... ...completely dashed, because this new guy doesn't even know who we are. Well, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to be self-sufficient about it and wait a little bit longer. Uh, can we raid? Anywhere? A little early, maybe. It's a little early. Still raided. Still raided. We would have to go quite south to raid, like down into Jorvik, and Jorvik is very strong. I suppose... We could raid into Ireland, if nobody's been doing it. It does mean going through dangerous territory, and there's not a lot of places down here that haven't been raided. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Everybody raids in Ireland. It's probably completely raided out. Hmm. Hmm. What should we do? I don't know if that's a good idea. It's real dangerous. How long before we can raid again in the south? Just over a year. Let's... Let's wait on that. Thing up here is fine. We got good prestige. So, since we have good prestige, there are a couple of things we could do. We could put off buying the duchy title in order to increase buildings and our holdings. Gathering halls are very good for us. We could build the gathering hall here. If we build a gathering hall here once it's built in five years, this will go up way faster. Will this be done in five years? I don't know if it'll be done in five years. Got warrior lodges here. Could, could be interesting. Because they give you... Well, trade port. Oh, my mother died. Oh. She got herself the lover's pox. Well, I mean, we knew what her sin was. It's too bad. We didn't really spend any time getting to know her, but I, I always knew that was going to be the case. We never really had a relationship with her. We only brought her into our territory in order to, uh, to look after her, and it looks like we probably should have done a better job. But, I mean, we never felt close to her, so... It's not surprising things turned out as they did. War camps are also good. I don't know if we want palisades. Markets are good. Trade ports are good. I think we build trade ports. I think we're going to build trade ports, but that means saving more money, so we probably won't do it until after we get the uh, duchy. Duchies are 200 or something, right? Oh, it's prestige. And 125. It gives prestige, I mean. And it's 125, eh? That's actually not so bad. I thought that was way higher. It must be lower during the beginning, or maybe it's lower when you're, uh... Tribal. Very interesting. So we'll have that sooner. Uh, he's getting stronger. So are we. Well, maybe we build up our... Bowmen. I don't want to push too hard. Do I want to push all the way? I guess I push all the way. Uh, I guess we push all the way. Yeah. We will have to start building more after we take this, though. Once we have the duchy, we're going to have to start building more. And once we have the duchy, we can also go back to supporting our king as our primary goal. But with that, I think we're going to bring this episode to an end. Next episode, we should become a duke of the Isles, which is great. I think that's great for us. I think that's an appropriate title considering our origin. And we can push closer and closer to being able to uh, restore our father's land. We're in a bit of a race because if Moray gets stronger than us, he has the claims and the king also has those claims, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, he controls the kingdom, right? So he has the claims of everything that would be du jour his. He is betrothed to this girl from Italy. Interesting. That implies that we now have a connection to Italy. Like, it's a place we know about. I guess kings see the world bigger than we do, right? 
uh, a little bit at least. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you to see you the next time we are here with our Mormare Findal, the romantic knight. It's too early for that. The romantic champion dreaming of holding the aisles. Bye for now.